So have you ever had one of these periods where you just feel like basically like completely unmotivated? Like you can't, like you can't get your, you can't get your, your, your stuff together. All I want to do is play Xbox, go in the pool with my kids. And I don't know about this business thing. It's starting to seem like a lot of work. So that's basically been me over the past uh, two weeks. Just basically not feeling it. And trying to remind myself of my sort of goals I have here. You can crank up the lighting in here is so bad. Crank up the ISO. How can I achieve my 10 year goal in six months and money loves speed, <laughs> okay? So that's theoretically how I think about things. Um, and I'm trying to remind myself of that today. And so for accountability, I'm sharing it with you in this YouTube video, because let's be honest, like you gotta get after it, right? <laughs> There's no reason to fall into a rut. Like let's work. Let's make some videos. Let's make some money. Come on. We're here to talk about UTM parameters. We're here to talk about uh, Facebook ads and how with Facebook ad tracking becoming basically awful now, you have to find other ways to be able to pull that data. And so, you know, we obviously, we, we run millions of dollars in video ads at Guide Social, so we had to crack new systems too to be able to get on top of it. So how have we done that? Obviously, if somebody opts out of iOS 14, which is that Apple update, blah, 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 I've got a link up right up there, there, one of these corners, which tells you uh, more about what this means and what the whole deal is. What I can say is that one way that we've been able to take a look at how well some of our uh, campaigns, ad sets, ads are doing at a more granular level and to like validate what Facebook is telling us is happening is through UTM parameters. So I wanna show you how I do this. I'm gonna take you over my shoulder. I'm gonna show you what we do on our team in Ads Manager to make sure that the UTM parameters are going in correctly. And, in, and I'll share with you how we do that and then share with you how I look at results inside Google Analytics and how that can help you optimize your results. Oh, and subscribe if this is your first time here because uh, that would be cool. So let's go over my shoulder and I'm gonna take you right inside Facebook Ads Manager and show you where I set up these UTM parameters. It's actually a super easy process that we've developed for the agency. Let's go. Okay, so when we're in Ads Manager, we need to just go to the ad level. When you're setting up an ad, you should do this. If you don't have this set up for your ads, you should get it in there. So basically you go into the ad level, go to edit and scroll all the way down, right? Uh, I'm testing a funnel right now for the PVC, uh, testing an offer, a hook, a pay what you want hook for peak video creators right now uh, for video stuff. So that's what this is. Um, and you can see I have it right there in the URL parameters, but let's get rid of all of this right here. Okay, and let's just, um, and what we wanna do, and I'm gonna put this in the description, is you want to copy and paste this exact string. Blam. UTM source equals Facebook, medium equals campaign name, blah, 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 blah. So basically what you're telling Google Analytics, these are just regular Google Analytics properties. They look at source, medium, uh, campaign, and content. And so what we're doing here is we're just saying, okay, pull over uh, when, when we're looking for source on this specific ad and campaign and ad set and whatever, look for, uh, I want you to mark that as Facebook. For the medium, I want you to dynamically grab the main campaign, which is the pay what you want test right now. I want you to grab the ad set name dynamically for the campaign name. So that would be Entrep Digital Marketing Small Business. And for content, I want you to grab the ad name. Okay, so there's the ad name. So just in case you don't know what UTM parameters are, and we'll just publish this here. So in case you don't know what UTM parameters are, they're basically uh, these uh, identifiers that go in your address bar. So this is your address bar that can sh that that pass from where wherever you go. That's the cool thing about it. We know where people came from, and then what they did. Right? We can we can sort of map their journey, and it's powerful because it allows you to see data that you might not otherwise be able to see. Right? Um, that's the cool thing. So you've got these UTM parameters in. So every creative, you go down right there to the URL parameters optional and paste that exact string in. 
okay? Um, and you wanna do that for all of your ads. So then where do you go to look at this stuff? Basically, what we wanna do here is find the acquisition stats for this. This is just an example. This is one of our client's accounts. And so if you go into all traffic, you'll see source medium there you click that and you can start to get stats about these things. So you can see right here, it's pulling the source slash the medium. Okay. Um, and then of course you do the time frame up here, but remember, before we set the source, the medium, the campaign, and the content in the URL parameters dynamically. You have to make sure that you're titling these things correctly so that you know what you're looking at when you get here because it's pulling the name dynamically. So you can see here, here is the campaign name right here. So I can actually see the stats on these campaigns. And let me tell you, they do not always line up. They 100% do not line up. Um, and so you've got to double check with these things. I'll trust, I'll trust these UTM parameters over Facebook's tracking any day of the week, of course. So these are the campaigns. And then when you want to see uh, ad sets, things like that, you can go into, you can just look here. So you can click medium. That'll just show you uh, the campaign. And then if you go to campaign, that will, we had that set to the ad sets. So you'll actually see the ad sets in here. So we were focusing on a guitar interest there. That was part of a testing campaign. And it'll actually show you, see 35 transactions on that for a value of 2,400. And the conversion rate on that was 3.52%. That's great data to have, amazing data to have. Average session duration, pages per session. But of course, at the end of the day, if you're an e-commerce store, for example, this is an e-commerce store, you're going to look here and see the number of purchases and see how that lines up over the same time frame, um, as well as the revenue generated and just actually see the real stats. And then of course, if you wanna get down to the ad level, you would type in and search for content here. And you know, there is pro I'm, I'm no Google Analytics expert. There's probably more advanced ways you can set up these dashboards and everything. Uh, but this is my rudimentary way of doing it and showing you how we can look these things up. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Uh, that's how I track things with UTM parameters. Pretty cool process. If you got value, please hit the like button. Cause I actually, I don't see anybody talking about this. I would love to see it. I, I know a lot of you coming to the channel every day are new folks. And so we'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you like, it allows us to show more, like more people are gonna see this. The algorithm will show us more love so that more people can get this value. I'm, I'm concerned that people are not doing this with their Facebook ads. Uh, I know that I haven't been doing it forever. And so gotta get on it. Uh, it's super important. Um, I'll see you in the next video.